Hey, this is Darren from Ventures Green, talking to you from the newest regenerative farming community on Vancouver Island. Uh, we're at uh, about 15 minutes north of Victoria, 390 Brooklay Road. Uh, the entrance is over there off of uh, Oldfield Road. Uh, so pop by if you're interested. We don't have uh, anything selling yet, much anyway. Uh, but just want to walk you through my little uh, one acre plot here. Uh, so I have a permaculture permaculture design certificate uh, from Verge Permaculture in uh, Calgary. Moved out to Victoria last year, Vancouver Island, and leased this uh, property just recently last month. Uh, so I've got about a one acre plot. This is my farm stand that I've built uh, from reclaimed pallets from uh, lumber stores. Amazingly enough, they just throw them out. Uh, so I just uh, pick them up for free and uh, built this. And as well, even the surface there is from a uh, old offcut from a door, foam core door, so kind of interesting. It's all just thrown away by the lumber stores. So maybe I'll do a video on that, uh, reclaiming the pallets, breaking them apart, and that type of thing, and building with them. Uh, this is my first video log here. So here's a potato tower I just started working on, so put a layer of dirt or compost, and then a layer of kind of dried grasses, but as well put the uh, potato uh, seed potatoes in there as well, so we'll see how those go. I'll do, probably do a video on that if that's successful So just taking you through the rest of the property where the hose is is where my wash station will be for my vegetables. I've got uh, Raspberries going there. I'm not sure they're gonna survive. They used to have green leaves now. They don't so uh, High clay content soil here, so we'll see how they go. I threw a little bit of compost in with them, too So hopefully they survive. I'm not sure uh, so I built these uh, eight beds here by hand uh, using a broad fork. I've got a big broad fork and a mini broad fork, so I'll maybe do a specific video on that, on how I built those, just uh, digging up the grass here. So it is possible anybody with a, uh, you know, electric or even a uh, gas-powered uh, tiller in their backyard and they're just doing uh, gardening in their backyard. They really don't need that. You can get away with uh, just a broad fork tool type of thing. It's fairly easy to use. All right, so I've planted here uh, lettuce and spinach. Uh, you can kind of see the uh, heads of the uh, strawberry plants here. The birds have been digging them up a little bit, unfortunately. So, uh, But I've also planted uh, kale, onions, carrots, broccoli, uh, so my plan is just to grow the basic foods that everybody, uh, most locals, eat every week. Uh, so that's my focus. Uh, over there in the distance, you can see my rounded end on my fence. So I've got my deer fence up and running. Um, but I don't have it completely coming around because the other farmers haven't done there. So just waiting for those. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to trap the geese in here. You can see a few geese in the distance there, potentially. Uh, so as well... Um, so I did actually, I got to admit, I did use a fossil fuel machine on this property. So I did get a tractor to come disc this. This grass is really tough. Uh, so I decided to get a, a local farmer here to come disc the property. So that's what the rest of the property has is uh, dug up, just ripped up grass type of thing. And unfortunately, I got to get them one more time to do some rototilling. Uh, kill lots of worms that way, unfortunately, but it needs to be done just to get it started here. It'll take me a few hundred hours probably to broad fork this entire plot uh, so I just decided to do that uh, so my plot goes down you see where that orange stake is and then down towards the pond there on the right uh, so it's not actually a pond it's just a wetland area that turns into a dry land area uh, come July or August we're here I've got my little compost pile started it's not really big enough to generate any heat but hopefully that'll get going here uh, this is again my storage, locked storage, so I've built this again with pallets, reclaimed pallets from uh, the back of uh, lumber stores. All right, and over here we got a nice treat area. We're planning on doing uh, some kind of picnic area type of thing for our customers in this area. So if I pan over here, all of this area eventually will be covered in mulch. Uh, we've gotten a few loads from uh, Cullen Tree Services. Thanks for that, Cullen. Hopefully we can get some more free uh, mulch or wood chips coming. Soon I've got a little uh, pile of compost here that I got from Farm to Garden. Uh, so nice organic uh, compost there. 
Uh, so the other farmers here, we got uh, Stanley in the back. He's got about an acre and acre and a half or two acres type of thing. He's doing vegetables and maybe chickens. Um, other farmers over here, you might have heard of them, called the uh, the Plot Market Garden. Uh, so they've got uh, just an acre up here. They're planning on doing a sunflower maze at the front here. And then at the back, they'll probably do uh, vegetables or something like that. There's Jorge or George the dog, local farm dog here. All right, uh, so you can check them out. They actually have another plot where they're selling uh, CSA boxes already, community supported agriculture. So check them out at theplotmarketgarden.com if you can and uh, participate in that if you want to. Uh, there's the entrance off of Old Field Road and then Megan over here from Edible Plant Source. I think her other website is ediblelandscapedesign.com or something like that. So uh, she's selling mostly perennial plants, that type of thing. So come on by and buy some plants from her if you can. All right, so that's it all the way around. Thanks a lot. So we'll do some more video uh, logging as well, but this is my first one. So post it up on my website, adventuresgreen.com. Uh, you can find all the latest ones. I'll probably put it on uh, uh, TikTok and Instagram and uh, YouTube as well. So let me know what you think if you want. Constructive comments, especially if you have some experience. That would be great. I'm a brand new farmer, so thanks a lot.